and I am here tonight to show you um, a beautiful card um, that I got inspired by. I actually haven't made the card as of yet, um, but I was inspired by my friends um, Andrea and Irma Radzik. Um, they do wonderful, beautiful... Okay, Facebook's giving me weird things. Um, so they sent me our, we uh, do swaps every month with our uh, team and Irma and Andrea are part of my team. Plus, um, we call ourselves the Three Musketeers. Um, over the years, the Musketeers have gotten a little bigger, um, but we call ourselves the Three Musketeers because we go on a lot of the conventions together and um, we always share a room, so it's so much fun. Um, so if you ever see a picture of me on Facebook or anywhere else with, in a bed with two other ladies, it's probably them, and we've taken that picture a few times. But anyway, so the card I'm making tonight is this one here. And um, I am changing it up a little bit. So I changed because I wanted to use some of the um, paper that I have, so I'm going to change it around a little bit. Um, so that stamp set is the Friends Are Like Seashells. So that's that one there. And we're also using the dies. So the dies are, this is the die I'm using. So it's a big uh, die. But you can also cut out each individual um, seashell also. So this one's the whole die. And we're also using, and I I don't know if I grabbed my book. So let me grab my book. I'm going to call these things the wrong thing. So let me grab my book so I can tell you exactly what they're called. So we have... And I'm probably not going to be able to find the page. So we have... This is the um, set we're using here. And so I'm using those dies there, the stamp set. And then we're also using the paper on the bottom there and the paper in the middle there. So you can't see that very well, and, but I'm going to show it to you in a minute. So that is called the Pearlescent Specialty Paper. And that's on page 41 of the mini catalog. Um, and I don't know if you can see it. My video is not... Oh, there you can see it a little bit. So it's pearlescent. So it's got like a pearly shimmer to it, shine to it. Oh, it's so friggin' cool. Anyway, so that I have. And the other thing we're going to be using tonight, and why is it not on this page? Oh, there it is at the top, um, is the um, Seashell 3D Embossing Folder. So that's this one right here. So we'll be using that. And the greatest thing about this um, greatest thing about this uh, set is that it comes in a bundle, and you have to buy the bundle. Like I wouldn't buy individual things; I'd buy the whole thing. The whole set works together so well. The stamp set has so many um, seashells. There's so many things you can do with them, and it's got so many sayings. Sorry, it's really shining off there. So, so many things. Anyways, um, so that's what we're going to use tonight. I'm also going to... Oh, no, I'm not using that. That's about it. And so let's uh, move the camera down. And I'm going to start by cutting out first. Now, I'm not too sure why my... I'm not sure if I moved my screen up or what I did, but getting a good camera view is not the greatest lately. And the camera likes to move around. Alright, let's try to move that there. Oops. Sorry, guys. I was trying to get it higher so you could see what I'm doing. So let me see if I can get it higher. 
without knocking it over. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Like I said, it's very, it likes to move around, and sometimes I can get it to stop moving around, but other times it just likes to keep moving. So, all right, there you can see what I got there. That should work. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to cut out with our die here. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do first. And we're going to cut out on the pearlescent paper. And I don't know if you can see from there. Okay, so let's move this a little bit. And you should be able to see what I'm doing. Alright, so you can see that in. Um, so what we're going to do first. So my friend Irma, I said, how do you do this? Because this is my first time doing using the whole thing. I've done um, smaller ones where I've just um, done like small of uh, these guys and just cut them out. Um, but I've not done a full sheet as of yet. So a full um, stamping. So she said cut out first. And then we're going to stamp, and then we're going to emboss with the embossing folder. So we're going to use this first. And it looks like I did not cut it big enough, but that's okay. We're just going to leave it like that. There we go. So you can see me okay. And the weird thing about my camera tonight is it's backwards, so when I show right, uh, it'll go show left. So here's hoping you can see, and here's hoping I don't shake everything with my embossing machine. There we go. There we go. Sorry about that, everybody, for the shakiness. Alright, so I'm going to get my embossing machine. So that's what it looks like when it's all cut out. And then I'm going to stamp on top of that. So I'm going to just get my embossing machine on the floor so it's out of my way for a minute. And then we'll bring it back when we do the embossing part. So you just have to kind of take out the little pieces that are stuck in there. Hi, Irma! I know, I miss our trips too. Hi uh, Sheila, hi Jane. So that's how, to, how it looks like when it's done. And then you can see the pearlescent. So it's really, really pretty. It's probably better in, um, better when you see it up close than this way, but it is really pretty. Okay, so the next part we're going to do, I'm just going to move you guys so you can see me stamping, is the stamping part. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, so I decided to use this piece of paper. For some reason I love this piece of paper. Um, it also has, on the back it's this stuff, um, this beautiful shell paper, which I've used that for um, cards also. And there goes my camera again. You would think it could stay one spot, but my camera is moving. It's like some ghost has a power over it or something, but there we go. So now you should be able to see me again. Oh, my camera. So, um, yeah, so that's the one side, and I've done other cards with that. Let me see if I can show you my card I've done with that. So that's this card right here, is the card I made with the other side of, oh, no, it's actually different. But that's one of the pieces of paper. It's not that side, but it's very similar. So that's my other card I made with the seashell, and I also used the saying, love you to the beach and back. So that was for my Valentine's Day swap. Anyway, so we're going to use this piece of paper today. I love the blue and the pink. Um, and then I'm going to put that on top. 
So we're going to stamp on this white, or the pearlescent piece. I keep wanting to call it something else. I'm not sure what. And then I'm just going to use the... I'm not going to get that a bright name either. Seaside Spray. So that's the Seaside Spray paper. Alright, so... We are going to stamp down. I'm going to use... Uh, that's a Melon Mambo. Melon Mambo. And I'm also going to use Seaside Spray. And that's our backing of our paper tonight. Alright, so... I make up, maybe I'll make um, pink and pink and blue and blue or the other way around. I'm not too sure. We'll figure it out here. So I'm going to start with this one here. So that's this one here. So they match up pretty well. And I've never stamped on the pearlescent before. So this is like a big experiment with you guys. So here's hoping... <laughs> Here's hoping it all works out. Or it might be a really horrible card, but I'm hoping it all works out. And I probably should be using my um, guide to do this, but I don't. I'm not using it, so. There's the pink one. So one pink. And then I'm going to do this big one in pink and then these two in blue. see what else we have here and then this one is this one here so I'm going to do that one in blue so that's the sea slide spray so that's that one there and that one goes right here So that's the blue one. And they fit in there pretty well. There's a little bit of a border around them, but it still looks pretty cool. And then we're going to do the one I smushed my stamps together. I suggest not doing that. There we go. So this is the next one we're going to do here. And I don't know my um, shell name, so sorry about that. I did not do a history lesson on shells before I started my video. <laughs> I think one's a conch shell. I think that's the one I know. Alright, so we're going to put that one down. There we go. And that one looks really, really pretty done like this. And it's actually staying on there quite nicely. Like I thought it would, um, with the pearlescent paper, I thought it would all look very um, smudged, but it doesn't. So it's looking pretty good. So I'm really happy about that. And then their last stamp is this, actually we have one more stamp because I'm going to do is this big guy here. And that one I had to use the E side block for because it's so big. And then that one I'm going to also do in the um, Melon Mambo. So like I said, I'm taking Irma and Andrea's card and kind of making it my own. Changing the colors up a little bit. But it's still pretty much the exact same idea. And so you can always do that with people cards, people's cards. Um, and Stampin' Up! is big on sharing your ideas with other people. So if you become a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! Um, there's so many ways of sharing ideas. So they have their own Facebook group. Um, there's, um, they have their own chat sites. They have tons of things. So I, and that one didn't stamp down very great, but I'm going to try it again. So, um, 
I'm going to try to line it up without messing it up. And I know, I know I should be using my, uh, my thing underneath, my pad underneath to help it stamp a little bit better. Alright. I'm just going to stamp it down in the middle again. Actually, I'll stamp it off a little bit. And then I'm going to get my so here somewhere. So just let me look for that. Here it is. So my little um, plate, because it probably will work. It's probably because, so I have a really bad habit of leaving my blocks dirty. So that's probably why that's happening. It probably has nothing to do with the stamp. Um, it probably has to do with a big glob of glue on the back of there, and that's probably what's happening, because I am so bad with not cleaning my blocks off after I use them. Bad, bad girl I am. Alright, let's try that, and that should work out a little bit better, and that might be, there we go. So that looks better. So now I got the middle of it in. And it actually matched up pretty good because sometimes when you over stamp it's a little bit awful so that'll look like that when it's done so next step is to put it through our embossing folder so i'm just going to move some of my blocks out of here before i knock them on the floor some of the things off my desk so we can we can show you what I'm doing here and you know every time I take things off my desk and I start looking for them again so you know that's gonna happen I try to clean up myself and then by cleaning up I lose things and I'm not sure why I do that but it makes my aunts laugh every time I send them a video it makes them laugh so it's okay <laughs> As long as I keep them laughing, it's good. Alrighty, so we're going to match up our embossing folder. And we're going to put it like where this side is bumping out. Because you want this, you want it to um, come through on this side. So you want it to bump out. I don't think you can flip it the other way anyway. So it kind of matches up, so I'm not sure how you can see that very well, but it matches up like perfectly with that. I'm not sure if I can show it from the other side. So it matches up perfectly. If you can see that a little bit better that way. So you just match it up. And then you put it down. So we got it there. And then we're going to send it through our big shot. take your plates and make them different here so for embossing so we're going to do one and three and one and two threes for this one i don't know if this is a 3d embossing folder maybe i should check that first because that changes things of what you're using so i don't even know what that would have been a good thing to check beforehand, but let me check that. So the 3D embossing folders uses a different layer type. There it is. So this in folder is a, a 3D embossing folder. So for a 3D embossing folders, you are going to take, using with 3D embossing folders, you're going to take a number four and a number one. So this is a number one, the main base, and then you're going to put the four on top of it. And the four is this gray one here. 
So that's pretty much the only use, reason you use the gray one for. I don't use the gray one for anything else except the 3D. And it makes it pop out better. It gives it a little bit more thickness. And it doesn't rip the paper then. So we're going to just put that through. And sorry for shaking again. Hopefully that's shaking my my screen and not the camera too much. Sorry about that, everybody. So then we're going to take it out of there. And it's going to look amazing. So if you can see that, I don't know how well you can see that. There you go. So the pearlescent is just lovely. And you can see the especially this one here. So this one here, this shell, you can see where it has a, right here, it has a ridge. So you can see that. It's just amazing. So this is such a lovely, lovely set and easy to do. So I could probably have done maybe 10 cards. So this, this video has gone on for almost a half an hour. So I mean, a half an hour to make one card. And I'm showing you how to do it. So it probably would take me about 10 to 15 minutes to make a card. But I could probably make probably about, I don't know, 10 cards in an hour kind of thing with this. It's not too hard to uh, do all the steps. So the last thing I'm going to do is we're going to take this uh, punch. And you're going to, I'm just going to do, um, take the pearlescent paper. And then I'm going to stamp down. So there's a saying here that says, Happy birthday. Happy birthday something, something, something. I can't see it. <laughs> Happy. Oh, that's the wrong stamp. Oh, goodness. See, I told you guys. I lose everything. Okay. So that says, Happy birthday to my beautiful friend. So that's what that says. And then it'll fit right on that little... Um, piece of paper and I'm going to use the blue again okay stamp that down and I should have used my thing again okay let's try to use my pad because it's showing up a little bit smudgy. Okay, let's try that again. It's a little bit light, but you can see it there. It might have been a good idea to use a darker one on this one. Maybe that one looks a little bit better. You can see it there. Okay. So, now all we have to do now is put the card together. So, I have my... This is the um, Stampin' Seal Plus, so it's a little bit more stronger. Um, we're going to use the um, Dimensionals. So dimensionals. And I'm going to put that to all together. So we're going to first start by putting our paper on our background. And I don't know if I want to do the pink at the bottom or the blue. I think I want to flip it around. So because of the blue, the pink, big pink ones at the bottom, I'm going to do the blue on the top and the pink on the bottom. Okay. And that's up to you which uh, way you want to flip your paper. So we're going to go over the really pretty paper on the back. Oh, and then we're going to rip my paper a little bit. And I said the blue on the bottom and the pink on the top so it balances out the way I stamped my 
stamped my shells. Alrighty, so that's my paper, and then I'm going to put this on top. So like I said, I've copied Irma's pretty closely. I've copied it, except I've used different colors. So it's very, very similar. And then we're going to take our dimensionals, and we're going to put those on the back. There we go. So you're just going to put it into the shell part of it, not on the little, these little guys. I'm going to leave those hang out. And then maybe put one more here. But you can see on the back, even um, the back of it, how much it emboss, embosses that folder. It's just wonderful. Like I've never seen a folder emboss so well in all my life. It's great. Just let me grab a drink. Hmm? All right. Sorry about that. I just had to grab a drink. And it would be smart to have it right in front of me. But, of course, that's not how I run things. Okay, so we've put those dimensionals on. And then we're just going to put that down so that's like that and then the last part is we're going to take and you know what I'm decided I'm going to try to stamp over my little thing with my pink just because it's darker the blue is a little bit too light so let's do that first and then we'll put our thing down I also did not, um, I used the, uh, Melon Mambo, and I did not, uh, clean off my stamps, so that's really, really bad, because the, the Melon Mambo is awful for, um, dyeing your stamps, so it was the real red, but oh well, it doesn't damage your stamps, it just makes them colorful. But I should have probably cleaned them off as I went, but that's okay. So we're going to do this down. And I'm going to try to match it up. So this is going to be really, really tricky, but I'm going to try my best. Well, that looks a lot better so that was a good pick to do a bit of the darker tone alrighty and then we're going to take that one and we're going to take our dimensionals and we're going to put three across And then we're going to probably put that right at the top. So, let's see. Irma put hers, at, Irma and Andrea put theirs at the top. So, I'm going to do the same thing with mine and put mine at the top also. 
this is a good spot for it. And I probably could have gone around with um, them just like that. So that's finished. And there's Irma and Andrea. So they did a lovely job. I love their card. Um, sorry, I <laughs> flipped it backwards. Um, I love their card. And I thought, well, I can do a similar card. Um, and then I'll show you guys all of the, all of the, uh, all of the elements to this card. And there's my card. Thanks everybody for joining me. Um, hi Karen. Hi Joan. Um, Joan, I don't know if you can use that on, um, on the textured boutique. I would think so. It's the smaller one, isn't it? And now somebody's at my door. Can you hold the hold? Actually, I'm just going to let you guys go. Um, so I will talk to you about that later, Joan. Um, but have a great night. Um, I will see you guys. Um, oh, my gosh. I will see you guys um, next Tuesday. And Joan, I will... <laughs> look at my hair. Oh, my goodness. I will talk to you about that, okay? Great. Have a great night. Thank you guys all for joining me.